Hi, my name is Dale Turner, and I teach a variety of acoustic and electric rhythm guitar styles here at Hollywood's Musicians Institute. And that passage you just heard me tapping and slapping my way through is an example similar to what Andy McKee is doing in his song, Drifting. Andy McKee from Topeka, Kansas, actually had three solo albums out already before he became a YouTube sensation uh, beginning late 2006. Drifting showed up on YouTube uh, and to date actually just hovering underneath 50 million views. He was a guitar teacher up until when that happened but still occasionally touring. Now with that success he's been able to of course go out and do his own thing which is great. Every one of his songs is actually in a different tuning. What we're going to do today is uh, just focus on some examples in the style of this one, which is in dadgad tuning, which is just like what it sounds like, D-A-D-G-A-D. -A -D -A -D. So the first thing I want to do is actually show you a way you can set up your own guitar into dadgad from standard tuning. Okay, this guitar I'm currently holding is actually in standard tuning. What we're going to do is give ourselves three D strings. We're going to drop this sixth string to D. You can hit your twelfth fret harmonic here. Lower it to match the sound of your open D string, open fourth string. Uh, you're going to actually drop your high E string to D as well, which you can do by taking your 12th fret 4th string harmonic, D. Dropping the high E string to match. So you got three Ds. Uh, the A string is going to stay the same, the G string will say, stay the same. We're going to drop the 2nd string to A. You can do that by hitting your 12th fret harmonic on the A string. And matching to that, D, A, D, G, A, D. Okay, so I've went ahead, of course, and grabbed my already dadgad equipped acoustic. I'm gonna now walk you through uh, a little one measure figure that we've got broken down into three elements. There's a percussive slap on the body of the guitar, uh, you might have noticed in the intro to this lesson that almost everything that was fretted was fretted overhand versus underhand. Part of that is what's going to allow you to slap the guitar body between hammering of chords with just the index finger of your fret hand. Uh, then of course we're going to add stuff that's going to happen with the plucking hand, a tap and some other plucks with the ring and middle finger. So let's uh, zoom in here on my uh, index finger here on the fifth fret and we're going to get this uh, figure one happening here in a second. Okay, so first I'll show you what's involved here, then we'll do it slow and then at regular speed. You're going to hammer on like this with your index finger, just in quarter notes. That's beat one. Two, you're going to smack it right here. That kind of a transition. At slow speed, it'd be one, two, three, four. That kind of movement. Okay, now I'm going to do this at regular speed. If you have a ring on your finger and you have a real expensive guitar, you, want, you might want to consider removing it so you don't dig into your, the finish of your guitar's body. Anyway, regular speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, while that index finger fret hand activity is happening, your plucking hand is going to be positioned over the neck up here at the ninth fret. You're going to tap, then you're going to pluck the high string with the ring finger, and then the, B, the A string, your second string, with the middle finger. And you're going to kind of repeat that like this. And the thing you might notice as you're doing this is there's some behind the fret noise from the tap the sound of this note behind it. Which you might have noticed in seeing Andy McKee's guitar, he has real crazy fanned frets and a bridge that's angled back, which uh, does help with the intonation. So if you're noticing that, don't feel bad. It's just the reality of your particular instrument. Here uh, it is at slow speed. Three, and four. Regular speed, one, two, three, four. 